So you saw me pull to all the boys I've loved before. I'm really excited to get started reading this. Um, it's been on my shelf since probably like August of last year. Um, and that's a really long time. I thought I would just buy this and then I would buy the next two and own the whole series and I would read it really quickly. But since I didn't even get through this one, I never bought the other ones and it just that has sat on my shelf for a long time. So I'm actually pretty excited to get into this because I started the summer I turned pretty um, the beginning of this month. I really liked it and I just like the writing style and it's just very chilling like um, life type of books that I feel like I'm, I'm going to end up really liking this because I feel like it's going to be along the same trail as that. Um, with, like a while ago, I can't even remember when, probably like... I don't know, seven years ago, if, if if that's even whenever this came out on Netflix. But yeah, whenever this came out on Netflix, I did watch the Netflix movie on this or show or whatever it was. Um, I remember watching it though and liking it and thinking it was pretty cool and not even realizing that it was a book then. So then I found out it was a book, bought them, never read them. So now I'm going to get into them. I'm going to read a little bit. I'm going to um, tell you once I've gotten through like, I don't know, 50 pages or so, I'm going to tell you what I'm thinking and then I'm gonna read some more and I'll give you updates as I go along and then I'll give you like a final review at the end. Chapter one. I've gotten to around 50 pages in and so far I'm really enjoying it. Um, it's just a really cute, fun, easy read. Something to throw in the middle of a bunch of thrillers that you're reading or just a different genre to kind of change it up a little bit. Um, I'm really loving it so far and I think I will definitely be continuing with this series. The characters are great. There's these three sisters. Lara Jean is the main um, character in the book. She's got her sister Margo and then she's got her little sister Kitty and Margo kind of like has been holding the family together um, since their mom died and their dad works at a hospital so he's really busy all the time and Margo is getting ready to go to Scotland um, to go to college there and Lara Jean is going to be the one that's going to have to like kind of take over things more since she has a little sister and she's like totally not used to doing any of that. She doesn't drive, like she doesn't really cook too much. Like Margot kind of does everything. So it's gonna be interesting to see how this kind of unfolds. Also, she's been writing these um, letters to all the boys she's loved before. She's got five of them. And one of them is Margot's boyfriend and he has been her boyfriend for, I forget how long, but a while, a few years, I think it was. Um, so this is going to be very interesting and I can't wait to see how it all um, unravels and turns out. back I am about 200 pages into this now um out of like 350 I think it is so I'm about done with this book and I'm really liking it so far I would say between three and four stars just depending on the ending um but things have really unraveled uh I don't know I don't know what to say that I won't give everything away in this because I don't want to do spoilers on this but so far it's very intriguing it's really holding my interest I love the writing style I really am attached to the characters um the storyline is just something different than something I would normally pick up but I still am finding myself to really like it it's just kind of everyday like life of a um high school girl um, whose mom passed away and she kind of has to hold things together now and also balance her busy social life and busy school life and keep like good grades and then these letters that she wrote get um, accidentally mailed out to all these boys that she wrote a letter to. Um, one of them gets returned to sender so she just only got four out. Um, one gets sent to a guy in her school that she had her first kiss with. One gets sent to her sister's 
boyfriend who's now her ex-boyfriend and then the other two I haven't learned about yet oh no sorry one gets sent to a boy at school who um isn't is not straight um so that's kind of not really something to worry about and she kind of talked to him and he was cool with it um he said he was like flattered by it and that she said a lot of nice things about him then her her sister's um ex-boyfriend who's also their next door neighbor came in like addressed it with her and she kind of was dreading that and I won't say too much more about that but then she had to deal with that and then this boy that she shared her first kiss with he was the first one to get the letter and he came and addressed it with her and she had to talk to him about that and I think he had a girlfriend at the time either that or they were like on the outs kind of but they were like still talking so anyway there's a lot of amazing characters in this book and I'm really loving the character building because I know this is a series so we're gonna like be with these characters for a while so she's doing a really great job of just getting us attached to these characters getting us like ingrained in all of their lives and um you don't have like multi-person perspective so it's all coming from Lara Jean's perspective but um even with that said the author's been doing a really great job of just like making us like all the other characters as well as Lara Jean so I'm pretty excited to see how this ends and I'm gonna get back to reading and then I'm gonna come back and tell you what I think of the whole thing um, and I am pretty excited that I picked this because now I've got a new series to read. show you my book journal since this has to do with what we're currently talking about um to all the boys I've loved before here it is the little paper that I picked out I'm going to keep them in here and then I'm going to print off the cover and put them next to them and then I built this little bookshelf down here that is going to fit 12 books and all the boys is right here and I'm going to just put all of them out as I read them and then probably put just like a star rating underneath and not too much else but also, um, as I was about to film, my package showed up with the stickers that I ordered, and this is one of the stickers, and All the Boys I've Loved Before is right there at the top, which is so cool, and then Cersei's here at the bottom, which I read last year, and it was one of my favorite books of 2022, so I am so excited to have this sticker. Unfortunately, I think it's going to be too big to put on this page. Um, because I'm going to have to fit 12 of these and 12 of these on this page. And I don't know even if I'm going to be able to fit them as is. So I'm going to set this one aside for now. But I just thought that that was really cool to share. Um, I found this really cool app that you can just buy all kinds of book stickers. So I actually went and got all of these. I'm just going to show you a couple of them right now. But they're so adorable. This is one of my favorite ones. And it says... There's a million books I haven't read, but just you wait. Life motto. <laughs> and then this one says, this is how I roll. They're just adorable. I love them. They've, a lot of them got like little animals on them reading, little plants, coffee. Well, that's a tea. Um, they're just so cute. I will link that below uh, if you would like to order them. I am not sponsored or anything. I just found them and I thought they were super cool. I know a lot of people order on Etsy, which is totally awesome to support a small business, but... These came from this really cool app, and the reason that I ordered was because I was originally looking for stamps, so I ended up getting these really awesome um, wooden month stamps. I'm very excited to use those, and I also found these awesome stamps, and I did not think they were going to be such good quality or so big. Um, these are actually a lot bigger than I thought they were going to be which is awesome. Um, you also have like this book belongs to, and then you can write your name. You have another one there. Um, this I found was really cool. And then my husband looked at it. I was showing it to him and he was like, well, you only have four stars there. So I found that to be a little bit weird. Maybe there's um like a little glitch there, but then you have one here. Let me just take it out for you. It's so cool. Um, and it says reading list recommended by, um, so a lot of things that you can kind of just like fill out, which I really loved about that one. And then this one is just like a bunch of little book things that honestly I um, print them online and I use stuff like that all the time. So like I have this one down here. Um, this one. 
This one is literally almost exactly the same as this one. So I'll definitely be using them a lot. Oh yeah, it was perfect that I flipped to this because I started my series tracker for To All The Boys I've Loved Before and I got a picture of the song Sisters, which is awesome. So yeah, that's it for the book journal and I will continue this video. It is a new day. Um, I finished reading this pretty much the rest of the night last night which is when i filmed the video for you um i pretty much read this in like two days i guess um it was really good i rated it four stars total i'm so happy that i picked this off my shelf it was a really great book um also like i'm so distracted right now because this is back here um i just got this as book mail and i'm so excited about it it looks so gorgeous um, and I'm really excited to read this one. So this is going to be one of my next reads and I'm thinking I'm going to do a little vlog style video just like this one on this when I read it. Um, so side note over, <laughs> let's get back to the video. Um, to all the boys I've loved before. So cute. What a great, um, storyline. What amazing characters. Like, I think if the characters hadn't been so lovable and just like family orientated and just loving and have gone through some stuff but are still just better for it and well-rounded and just adorable all around just I love the whole cast I mean even all the boys like in their own ways were really cool and even though this is just like a, a young adult novel and it's a high school based story um I still found myself really getting into it and normally I kind of stay away from books like this because I feel like I can't get into them as well because I'm just not that age um, but this was just kind of like gave me like nostalgia vibes of like high school and just like, you know, your first crush or like the first boy you really like and or the first first boy that you have your first kiss with or whatever. Um, it just gives you very nostalgic type vibes like that. So I feel like this can be loved by like all ages. I don't think that it has to be just young adult or just teenagers that read this. Um, I feel like you can definitely enjoy it now. I'm in my... Um, late 20s so um definitely definitely enjoyed it and i will definitely be reading the rest of this series and i'm really looking forward to it actually i think i'll probably be continuing with it next month even because i just really love the story and i want to see where it goes because at the end they kind of leave us like in a spot where i want to know what happens so um just an overall really adorable story and just amazing characters that all just kind of fit together so well and it kind of is just like a like a little neighborhood of people that just like yeah they have little like arguments and problems and stuff but like they all kind of like care about each other in a way i guess you could say um so yeah i, I just amazing book loved it i can't believe that it has been sitting on my shelf for so long and i think i will definitely be watching the netflix show or movie whichever one it is i cannot remember um but i think i'll definitely be watching it after i finish the whole series and then i'll probably come back and make a video just about that where i watch it and then kind of talk to you about what i think um and how similar it is to the books so Highly recommend reading this one if you haven't, um, if you're feeling it. I definitely was feeling it and I'm so excited that I picked this and I can't wait for next month when I'm going to pick my next book. Make sure you come back next month so you can see that. Um, I'm going to pick it and read it all in the same day. I only picked this one um, in the first video on a different video because it was like kind of like the introductory video to this whole series. So this series is going to be going on for the whole entire year. So make sure you check back every month to see me pull a new book and read it. And also I'm doing my Rot TBR challenge. I don't know if you can see them all the way over there, but let me just pan the camera over there my wrapped tbr challenge that is kind of similar to this it's just like books that i picked off my shelf that i wrapped that is also a youtube series on my channel and it's also something that goes on once a month and i read one of those every month and um this month's one was a five star read so make sure you're checking those out i will link all of these videos below as i said before so that if you want to check anything out it is easily clickable also, there's always my, um, you can always go to my channel and view my playlists and I try to like keep everything really organized for you. So if you feel like watching a series or watching a certain type of video, you can go check out a playlist on my channel and it should have all of those videos in one place. <sighs> That's a lot to say. <laughs> um, also, make sure you check out my Instagram because I have been working on that a lot lately and posting 
a lot of bookish related content over there and I would love to see you over there and then check back here every week on every single Friday I post a new video whether it be a YouTube series or something else um, you'll just have to be surprised and please make sure you subscribe and like this video and leave me a comment because I love interacting with you and yeah I have nothing left to say but just like good things about to all the boys I've loved before and I hope you enjoyed this video because I really loved making it and hanging out with you I would love to see you on my next video. Bye. <laughs>